Day one of the Chloe Ting challenge. Um, it's her new 21 day challenge. Um, I think it's more of a strength. So you can either use weights or not weights. So just to day one, it was two workouts. I feel like I could do a lot of the workouts, but I, um, I did the modification for a ton of them. I was using five pound weights for whatever workouts I felt I could do. But honestly, I think five pounds is too much for me at the moment. So I think I'm gonna have to buy some like two pound or three pound weights just to get me started because some of the workouts I could do but with the weights, but I felt like it was getting a little too heavy. Um, and maybe I could keep a better form if I just used a lower weight. So I think I'm gonna try that. Reason why I'm even doing this is because I want to gain strength in my body and I wanted to see if I could do this. So someone that's not physically active, all I really do is go on walks or um, I'll bike ride every once in a while. And I mean every once in a while. Um, so I'm not very active. I don't have like a workout routine or I don't work out daily. Um, but I wanted to see if I could do something like this, if I could even do any of the workouts. And it turns out that I actually can, not all of them, but I can do a lot of them. And I'm hoping that by day 21, my body will have more strength and that I'll be able to do them more effectively, maybe with better posture. Day one in the books. I'll be back tomorrow for day two. day two of the challenge so today it was the booty burn workout I don't know if you can see that so we had to do that twice today same workout two times about 15 minutes so 30 minutes in total and it was just pure booty all booty workouts um, you could use a dumbbell or you can use and actually and you can use a dumbbell and you can use the resistance bands for whatever workout I felt I could try to use a dumbbell and the resistance bands I did but if it was more balance wise like a curtsy lunge I think it's called oh my gosh I'm sweating my butt off um <clears throat> oh that was gross <sighs> so if I felt like I didn't have enough balance to do it that I wouldn't add the additional weight because I want to make sure I'm getting my posture right first. In the beginning, I mean, I could feel it towards the beginning of the first round. So after the first 15 minutes, I could definitely feel it. So I took like a one minute break or so, but I wanted to just keep going, get it done. But by the second, so by the end, uh, the second 15 minute round my legs were just like please please don't do this to me anymore they're like shaking and they you could tell I was getting the burn so I just did a lot less repetitions but I kept going as much as I could um, probably a little bit of a longer break but that's okay so day two in the books day three is an active rest day and then we'll be back with day four which oh my gosh we'll be back with day four <laughs> so day four is done uh today's workout was oh let me turn this off i don't want it to think i'm working out for eternity um so day four officially uh, the 21 day challenge it had three workouts one is like the full body workout that she has they also get a really nice sweat out of that one which I don't know if anyone else is like this but if I'm sweating I feel like it's working for some reason and if I'm not feeling some kind of sweat I feel like I'm not working enough does anyone else feel that way? Anyways, back to the workouts. There was a new workout today. It was the arms and upper body workout. I wanna say that one was like 13, 14 minutes or so. 
um, and it was just purely all arm workouts. I was using five pound weights. I think I mentioned this on day two. Those are the only weights that I have. I was able to get some from Target today. Uh, the six pack abs. So that's just like an ab, pretty much all ab workout. It's about 10 minutes. And that one was part of day one as well. So I had done that one. Um, I think I mentioned before, I'm pretty weak throughout my whole body. So my abs specifically are not strong. So a lot of the workouts are pretty hard. And when she says get into any kind of plank, a side plank, a high plank, a low plank, just any kind of plank, my body like immediately shakes and it knows what's coming. Because as soon as I get into that plank position, first of all, I'm like, oh, I've been doing this for about 30 seconds. No, I've been doing it for five seconds. And my body's just like, it literally shakes like this. And day five is an active rest day. Well, that's nice. So then I'll be back on day six. <laughs> I'll be back on day six with that workout, with the full body workout and the glutes workout. Um, oh, that's nice. All right, so <laughs> I guess it's a nice start to the week, Monday, right? Um, all right, so I'll see you guys on day six. Hi there, welcome from my floor. Today was leg and booty and I can't feel my legs or my booty. So I'm sitting on the floor. I only came on to tell you guys that if you are doing this workout and you're on day, you know, week one and you're feeling tired and you don't want to do it anymore, just do it. Just do it. Because it is, it's 11 p.m. right now. Um, I typically would like to be in bed by now, but I started work pretty early. I started like around seven because I told myself I want to get off with enough time to work out at a decent time, go to bed early. That didn't happen. We're pretty busy right now. So I logged off at about 10 p.m. and I honestly did not want to work out anymore. I was ready to just shower and go to bed but i told myself no you've been doing really great you've been sticking to it you've been doing the workouts you've been trying really hard so you're not gonna quit now don't give up keep at it keep doing it i know you got this we're strong and we're gonna be even stronger by the end of this so i'll see you guys tomorrow hi guys so Day seven of the challenge is complete. I'm so excited. So today I had um, arms and upper body. So it was the one workout two times and then ab workout. Uh, it wasn't too bad. The arms, I'm super happy I did get my three pound weight. So I ended up getting them in the mail today, uh, which was perfect timing. So I'm really glad I got the three pound weights. Um, the, I'm able to do all the repetitions and throughout the entire time um, and my arms still start hurting and everything like that but um, and or they start feeling the burn but I don't feel like I can't do the workout anymore or like my hand shakes so terribly that it's telling me please don't lift this weight anymore so I am glad I got the three pound weights at least for my arm workouts and I'm sure for some of the other ones um, as I kind of start building my strength up to the five pound weight excited to see what my body is gonna feel like but don't get me wrong planks are still not my friend i don't know if they'll ever be my friend if there's one plank so the first plank that it comes up because in her videos there's at least one plank in every video or some sort of plank but anyway so the first plank I can typically do for the entirety so for like the full 30 seconds and this is a high plank but then the second high plank I can do for maybe 10 seconds if that or 10 seconds to me it's probably just two seconds who even knows but then if she says get in a low plank low planks <sighs> so yeah guys stay tuned for my results video that will be coming I'm guessing if 
I have two more weeks of the workout so then I would think maybe in two and a half weeks or three weeks um, that results video will come up also if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to my channel turn on your post notifications that way you get notified when I post that video but yeah if you're doing this challenge don't forget do not give up we got this it's seven days in two days in three days in 15 days in no matter how many days in do not give up we are going to do this. We are going to be stronger after this. So don't give up. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.